The Academy of Math and Science just received a very big honor and also has some very exciting news for 2017. Let's hear all about it from Kim Taika. Kim, thank you so much for being here. Thank you very much for having me here today. I appreciate you having me on the show. Oh, absolutely. Let's take a moment actually to learn a little bit uh, about the Academy first before we talk about all your great news. Sure. So a uh, summary is we've got four charter schools here in Arizona. They're K-8 tuition free charter schools and we've been around for 16 years and this year we won Arizona Charter School of the Year. Yay! There was the big uh, announcement that you guys have this great honor. What did it take uh, in order for you to get that big honor? Yeah, so we've been uh, educating children for 16 years now and over those years uh, we've accomplished some phenomenal results. We've received other national honors in the past, such as a Blue Ribbon Award, an Epic Gold Gain Award. So even though this is our first year receiving the award, I'd like to think that we've had one of the best programs, not just in the state, but in the nation for that entire time. So uh, but to your question, there are over 500 charter schools considered for the award, and we're really among really great company. Uh, some of the schools were from Phoenix, some from Tucson. One of them included uh, Arizona State University's charter wow. school program, one of theirs up in Phoenix. So uh, the group that we're in is a phenomenal group to even begin with. Yeah. And so the reason that I believe though that we really won it was because of our amazing teachers. And that sounds like a cliche, but uh, I'll tell you why. And I think that we have the absolute deepest talent bench in all of Arizona. Last year, we had over 6,000 applicants apply to teach with us. Wow. So uh, thank you. And by some standards, that's more competitive than Harvard. Right. Well, like you said, you were in great company in, in uh, the running for this honor. We're, you're so lucky to uh, have won and be able to do that. But we even have more exciting news, because why are you here today? What news are you here to give us? Yeah. Uh, so. Over the last several years, all of our campuses have been growing and expanding year after year. Uh, with the exception of our Prince campus here in central Tucson, they've been landlocked. Uh, they haven't had space in their building to accept any new children. So due to the hard work of all of our uh, team members, we've acquired a new parcel building and we're going to be constructing four additional classrooms, a basketball court and a new cafeteria to serve all those kids that we haven't been able to. So that's really what I'm here to tell you about. That is amazing. So you told us how, you know, like you said, the, the staff is so great, the teaching staff is so great and everything you guys have to offer. Now we're able to give that uh, to even more students, which is some great news. So, you know, I think when we're talking about, you know, your company and the running for that honor, there are a lot of, you know, charter schools that are out there and people maybe have heard of those or parents have heard of those. What kind of sets you aside or, or makes you maybe a little bit different than those? I always start out by saying our teachers, but uh, besides that, some of the things that we do differently, we look at students in a, as unique individuals, meaning that we offer a really diverse curriculum, but we also teach students differently based on how they learn. Uh, number two, we look at a student and don't just examine their absolute performance when they come in, but we also look at wh what is their potential. Yeah. So yes, we do have the academically accelerated students that'll apply to our program, but we also have students that uh, are at grade level or haven't been that successful in a prior school, either because they haven't been interested in school or they haven't been supported enough. And we always work with those kids. And the only thing that we need from those types of children and their parents is just the commitment that they're willing to do the work. Because uh, from my experience, if they're willing to do the work, they always succeed. Well, and I'm sure you get a lot of great feedback. What do parents usually say? They say uh, many things, again, going back to teachers, curriculum, uh, but what, what I find to be the most rewarding thing that we frequently do here is when a parent comes to us and says that before the Academy of Math and Science, their children weren't interested in school. Mm -hmm. They weren't interested in doing their homework, and now they go to school, they're fired up about learning, they actually want to do it, and when I hear that, I know that that is there with them to stay. They're going to keep that way beyond the time that they leave AMS. And what do you say to parents that maybe um, have some concerns about extracurricular activities or the availability of that? Yeah, so charter schools vary in their uh, ability to provide extracurriculars. Uh, for us in particular, we offer 18 different extracurriculars wow. or sports. Yeah, it, it is on the heavy side and it goes back to our philosophy there. 
so uh, we offer everything from uh, Mandarin, Russian, STEM programming, uh, programming, robotics, forensics, drama, uh, gymnastics, guitar, piano, the list goes on and on. And we do that while also offering free after school tutoring for children, an extended day program for parents that need that sort of thing. And our focus is really those things along with uh, academic competitions. And again, I, well, I think that when most parents come to us and they actually take a look at and see what we have to offer, we're usually comparable in sports, but we can offer so much more in academics. Well, now we've put all of this out on the table for everyone and all, all of the parents to hear about it. Now I'm gonna tell them how they can get a hold of you uh, in order to, like we said, uh, the availability is now open in some of the locations for uh, more students to come in. So again, thank you so much for coming in, Kim. Thank you very much for having me. Now for a personalized tour of the campus, call 293-2676. Spots are limited to 100 new students and pre-registration ends on February 15th. For more details, visit amsschools.org.